what is going on guys welcome to your 19th mysql tutorial and i want to show you guys a nice little tip that's going to save you guys a whole bunch of time in this tutorial so in the last tutorial what i did is i showed you guys how you could find a number of listings for each seller so let's go ahead and run an aggregate function for example if we wanted to find the number of listings for each seller we would go ahead and select seller underscore id and we would also do something like count all and what this would do is count all their listings and I'm just gonna name this as item count from items now in order to get an individual seller what we would do is we would add a where clause for example where seller underscore ID equals one now what this line of code would do was basically get the seller ID and count their items where the seller ID was equal to one so let's go ahead and hit go and obviously seller ID is selling two items okay now we need to do this for seller number two seller number two let's go ahead and run this they are selling two items as well okay how many people do we have in this oh wow we have like a hundred different sellers okay let me go grab a book this is gonna take some time or is it what if there is an easier way that we could do this instead of using this where clause what we could do is we could use a new little trick called group by and instead of having to type each individual seller let me just go ahead and show you this whenever you use group by just go ahead and type what you want to group by for example seller ID and what this is gonna do is it's gonna list the seller ID and the number of items for each seller ID in other words for each seller so again instead of having a bunch of different where clauses for each seller we can just go ahead and group them by seller ID and it's going to do all of this automatically for us so let me go ahead and hit go and check this out how amazingly awesome is this again using group by we can see that seller one is selling two items the next seller has two items listed and let's see like um, this seller has five items listed this seller has four items listed it's a lot easier than having to type each seller individually pretty dang sweet huh now furthermore you can also filter the results of this for example let's say that we only wanted to list the users that have three or more items listed on our website we only wanted to list the power sellers so in order to do that go up to your query and of course we need to still group by seller ID and now instead of a where clause you use a keyword called having now having is kind of like the where of groups so having and then you write the test we want to list all sellers having a count in other words having items listed that are greater or equal to I don't know let's just say greater or equal to three so now not only is it gonna list all of the sellers and the number of items but it's only gonna list the ones that have a count higher than three and that kinda looks like the uh, kinda reminds me of something I can't tell exactly what but anyways whenever we list this check it out now the only sellers that are listed are the ones that have an item count of three or higher three four five etc so now if you wanted to list like the top sellers for your website or something this is how you would do that again one last time having is basically it's similar to the where clause where you can give a test and it can filter your results just remember this whenever you're using groups remember to use the keyword having whenever you're just using rows like a typical test use the where clause but having is for groups where is for just basic tests so the last thing I want to tell you guys in this tutorial is you can also order by a group for example you see how we got the list of all the power sellers all of the sellers who listed three or more items well I want to arrange this a little bit prettier I want to arrange these sellers from highest to lowest the people who have the most items listed to the people who have the lowest items listed or the least items oh I got some freaking phlegm in my throat so in order to do that after this query we can just go ahead and add a simple order by statement 
Now I want to mention this because a lot of people ask me about this. You know how these are the columns that were originally in the table ID, name, cost, seller ID, and bids. Now we also have this extra column that we named as item count. Now this column is a temporarily temporary column. It's kind of like a nickname of column. So can we go ahead and order by that column even though it isn't a permanent column? Well, yes we can. Whenever we order by item count, it's going to order by that temporary column. In other words, the number of items for our sellers. Now, since we want to order from highest to lowest, we can't leave it at default because default is ascending from low to high. We want it from high to low, descending, just like that. So basically, let me go ahead and run this query and then I'll talk you guys through it. As you can see, it now lists the sellers in order for the sellers that have the most items listed to the sellers that have the least items listed all the way down to three. So basically, even though this is a really long and probably confusing query at first glance, I'm going to tell you guys, basically you can read it in plain English. It's like, it's saying this, take a deep breath, give me the seller ID and the number of items from each seller who listed three or more items and arrange them from highest to lowest. So again, if you just read it in plain English, it's going to make a lot more sense. And that's typically what I do. Whenever I come into a database for the first time that someone else was working on, I just try to read it like plain English. Again, each of these keywords, not only the MySQL, but also the column names, they're written in plain English. So therefore, you can just say, okay, give me the seller ID and number of items from each seller who listed three or more items. And then once you have that information, just arrange them from highest to lowest. Simple enough. So hopefully you can understand how to read complex queries by converting that to plain English. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. Probably brain overload. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the next tutorial, I promise we're done with all this crap. It's going to get a whole lot easier. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.